This video covers one of the biggest SEO mistakes people make when they rebuild an old established website and how to fix it. If you're looking at rebuilding or redesigning an old website, we'd love to talk to you. Please visit bizdetail.com or call 925-963-1377. And now on to the tutorial. One step that gets missed in a lot of site redesign projects is the aspect of adding 301 redirects from the pages on the old site to the corresponding pages on the new site. And if you've had a site that's been established and on the web for any sort of time, it's really vital that you do this when you launch your new website. So basically what you need to do uh, before you adjust the name servers and while your old site is still live is make an index of all the pages on your old site in a spreadsheet. So I've done that here already. I've pulled all the pages one by one and loaded them by name and then by URL and we're ready to go there. So uh, depending on what sort of access you have, if you have FTP you can pull this information from the server. If the page has a sitemap that's one place you can go get the name, grab the URL uh, and whatnot. But at any rate you'll need to make a list of every single page on the site and load that into a spreadsheet. And once you have that and you're ready to go, uh, you got your email stuff all sorted, you're ready to change the name servers. So I've already set up email forwarding on my new server so any email accounts will continue to work. Uh, and the next step is to go ahead and just change the name servers. So depending on how much traffic your site gets, how big it is, you may want to set up the redirects which we'll cover in the next step before you adjust the name servers. But I want to work on a live site, and this site is only getting, you know, a couple hundred people a day, and I'm in off hours right now. So we're just going to go ahead and set it live and then set up the redirects. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my information here. And then hopefully sooner rather than later, our new site will go live. Our new site has gone live, and I've already altered the settings for the WordPress address and the site address to reflect our domain. And then I've also gone ahead and set the permalinks to reflect the post name. So basically each page on the site, the URL up here is gonna match the page name. So this is a subpage of facial plastic surgery, chin surgery. Once all your settings have been adjusted, the next thing you'll need to do is install this quick page post redirect plugin by Don Fisher. It's a really great plugin. I use it on practically every single site in WordPress that I build. Once you've activated the quick page post redirect plugin, you're going to get this new option down here on the sideboard and this quick redirect tab. So basically what we're going to be doing on this page is one by one adding the old URLs from our old site and then redirecting them to the corresponding page on the new site. So if you read the directions, you're going to have to pull basically everything after the domain, uh, the site root. And basically we're just going to have to go add that at the beginning, add our old URL and then add the full URL of the corresponding page on the new site to this side. One by one, we're just gonna have to go through. So the next one, Zerona Laser, pull that URL and add it in. So without this redirect, what would happen is people would be finding these pages and expecting to find information on say the Zerona Laser However, when they click, they just be redirected to the home page because that old URL doesn't exist. So what we're doing is we're redirecting them right now, one by one. Every single page with content on the old site should be redirected to a corresponding page on the new site. So go ahead and add in all those redirects. Before you start adding all your redirects, it may be a good idea to check them just to make sure you're doing this right. And you can do that by simply copying what's on the left side here, going to your site, adding the old URL, and seeing if it redirects over to the new URL for the new page, which it did. So add all your redirects, get them all working, get that all taken care of. It's a process. Do it carefully. 
page by page, one by one, get your redirects all added. This is the most important step of this process. That's why I keep harping about it. Once all your redirects have been added and your site is all set up, the next thing you'll want to do is add a site map. So you'll want to just click over to the add new plugin and type in XML sitemap. So this is the one down here that I use, Google XML sitemaps from Arnie Branchold. Go ahead and install that. and then you gotta go build it out. So the default settings are good, you can click through that if you wanna check it out. We're just gonna go ahead, build the sitemap, and voila, so we have our sitemap. One of the next most important steps after adding the redirects is to make sure you add the site to Google Webmaster Tools. And this is going to do a few things for us. Number one, we can upload our sitemap and give Webmaster Tools access to it so they have all the pages of our site indexed. And then we can also monitor for any errors for any sites that we may have missed on the redirect so that we can redirect them to the proper place. So you'll need to verify your site. It's pretty simple. They're just going to ask you to download this file and then upload it to your site. So I've downloaded the file here. And then I just need to go and drop it on my site. So once you do that, you're verified in Google Webmaster Tools. Make sure you add the www to the site when you verify it. Uh, once you're verified, you'll want to click onto the sitemap. So it's sitemap at XML and go add your sitemap. So at this point, you've added all your redirects, you've told Google where all your content is, and basically you've set everything up. So the only other step after this is to log into uh, Webmaster Tools in the future and monitor and see if you're getting any errors. And if you have any errors, then you need to fix them. So that is how you properly launch a redesigned website. So we have 23 errors right now and we'll have to go fix them one by one. Since my site is long established, I actually do have some errors to start just after confirming it. And uh, basically these are all 404 errors which are a result of the old page linking to content that didn't exist. So it's not a high priority error. And now that I've redesigned the site, it's not going to have these issues. So hopefully they'll all get taken care of just as part of the relaunch process. So for now, I'm going to mark them all as fixed. We're basically gonna... starting with a blank slate. So I can log in tomorrow, the next day, and see where we're at. If we have any errors, I can address them then. At this but... point, we've relaunched our site. Most everything is taken care of. From now, you'll just have to closely monitor any errors and address them, get some 301 redirects to make sure they get fixed quickly so people can find the content that they're looking for.